Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with this. In this life of faith, we don't talk about our problems. We talk to them. In Mark 11, 23, Jesus said this, For verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he will have whatsoever he says. Now, a mountain is representative of an obstacle or something in your way. And in this verse, Jesus is teaching us to speak to it. He teaches us to speak to things. Now, this is a foreign concept to most believers. You know, religion does not teach a man to speak to obstacles. Religion teaches a man to talk about his problem, and then beg God to do something about his problem. But in this life of faith, we are taught to operate like Jesus and speak to the things that are in our way, speak to the obstacles. Now, it's not a foreign concept to speak to things because a lot of people speak to things all the time. They just do it in a negative fashion. They call their car old and junky. They call their house old and junky. They call their tools stupid and their clothes ugly. They're talking to things all the time, but they're just doing it on the negative side. But in the life of faith, Jesus is teaching us to get words from God and speak those words to these obstacles and to believe that what we say will come to pass in our lives. Now, this is exactly how Jesus operated all throughout the Gospels. In Mark chapter 4, verse 39, it says that Jesus rebuked the wind. So Jesus is talking to wind. And then it said, and he said unto the sea. So Jesus is talking to the ocean. And what he said to the wind and the ocean, he said, peace, be still. He's speaking to things. He's speaking to its. We see it again in Luke chapter 4, 39, when it said that Jesus rebuked the fever. So Jesus was talking to a fever, and he was expecting that what he said would come to pass. We see it again in Mark 11, when Jesus cursed the fig tree. So he was talking to a tree. See, Jesus spoke to things to get things done. The way he operated is this. He would step, come up to a situation and he would ask the Father, Lord, Father, what should I say to this? What should I say about this? In John chapter 5 and in John chapter 8, he said, I only say what my Father tells me to say. And then he would get words from the Father of what he should say to that thing. And then when he spoke it, he believed that what he said was going to come to pass because he got those words from the Father. And you and I are supposed to be operating the same way. And guess what? When he spoke to the storm, the storm stopped. When he spoke to the fever, the fever left. When he spoke to the fig tree and cursed it, it was cursed. So you and I want to operate like him and we want to speak to things and use our words to get things done. Now, why does it work like that in this earth, in this physical realm? Well, everything in the physical realm was created by words, by words of God. And these things in the physical realm then will respond to words. They were, it was created by words and it will respond to words. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, it said the worlds were framed by the word of God. So see, when you put God's words in your mouth and speak to things, they will respond to you 
the same way things responded to God's words in Jesus' mouth. See, it's not responding. The things aren't just responding to you and me. They're responding to the word of God. They weren't just responding to Jesus. They were responding to the words of God in Jesus' mouth. And they will respond to the words of God in your mouth just the way they responded to the words of God in Jesus' mouth. So friend, I want to encourage you and I want to leave you with this thought. Talking about your problems is not going to change your problems. You have to talk to your problems. And you and I ought to be living like this every day. When we come up to obstacles, when things are in our way, when problems arise, we ought to ask the Lord, we ought to ask the Father, Father, what do you want me to say to that? What do you want me to speak to that? What words do you want me to speak about that or over that? And then when the, when the Father gives you those words, you speak those words out your mouth, you speak to the mountain, and you believe with your heart that what you say is going to come to pass. And Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty three, 23, if you'll do that, you will have what you say. Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to leave you with these three things. Number one, Jesus taught us to speak to things. Number two, he not only taught us to speak to things, this is exactly how Jesus operated in his life and ministry. He spoke to the wind, spoke to the sea, spoke to the fever, and spoke to the fig tree. And then number three, the physical realm was created by words, and it will respond to words. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today for the power of our words. And Lord, we ask you today, we're asking you, and I release my faith, Lord, over everybody watching the broadcast. Show us what we need to be saying to the obstacles in our life. And when we hear from you, Father, we're going to speak those words. We're going to speak to those things. We're going to speak to those obstacles. And we're going to believe that what we say will come to pass. And we're going to have what we say. In Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow, Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.